This here, right where I'm standing, is only a small part of the oldest fossil reef in the entire world. Some of the fossils here date as far back as 480 million years ago to the early Ordovician period. This is the Chazy Reef. The name Chazy comes from American geologist Ebenezer Emmons, who discovered exposed limestone found near Chazy, New York. You may be wondering, weren't there older reefs that existed during the Cambrian, which is the period that came before the Ordovician? Well, yeah, yeah, there were. But the Chazy Reef is the oldest, diverse, true reef in existence. The Cambrian reefs were all just sponges and not diverse whatsoever. Since this is protected land, you are not allowed to take any of the fossils here. They're for everyone to enjoy. So here on Isla Mott, we have two preserves, the Fisk Quarry Preserve and the Goodsell Ridge Preserve. Both preserve, protect, um, preserve and protect and have open to the public the rock, which is basically an ancient reef formed 460 million years ago. In 2009, we applied for and received this designation as National Natural Landmark. And so it does have this national designation, which is pretty important. We do have expenses, so we have to raise money. And so if we can say we're a National Natural Landmark, that helps a lot. The reef is actually quite large, extending from Vermont through Lake Champlain and into New York. All of this was um, an ancient sea called the Iapetus Ocean. And all of this was where Zimbabwe, Africa is today. And so what was it doing in Zimbabwe or what is it doing here now? And that can be explained by the whole phenomenon called continental drift uh, in which the continents and the land masses move maybe an inch a year for thousands and millions of years. And if you're moving an inch a year, you can get across the globe quite quickly. <laughs> and that explains why you find a, a reef in what is now Vermont. It's a very different environment, obviously, and there is no ocean. But the, um, but the history of this ancient sea is recorded in the rocks. Seeing that this is a reef, there are no dinosaur fossils here. Frankly, there are no dinosaur fossils anywhere in Vermont. Most of the rock from the Mesozoic era, where dinosaurs can be found, was scraped away by glaciers thousands of years ago during the Ice Age. So what we have left is the older rock from the Paleozoic era. But that doesn't mean we can't find really cool fossils here. Many of the fossils at the Chazy Reef are invertebrates. One type of fossil that's very apparent in the walls of the fish quarry are called stromatoporoids. When I take school kids back to see it, we do a little chant, stromatoporoid, stromatoporoid, <laughs> <laughs> which, which helps them and helps me to pr pronounce it. Those were evidently creatures that lived on the, the seafloor, and they, it was, um, you know, a number of little organisms living in colonies, so they were col colonial creatures. You also had a kind of ancient snail called gastropod, something else called stromatolite. Please don't ask me to describe it. <laughs> <laughs> Some ancient corals, the very sort of earliest corals uh, in the world. This reef isn't necessarily what you would expect a reef to look like. It's not like big coral reefs we have today, though the Chazy Reef may have been a precursor to modern day coral reefs. Coral did exist in this reef, but they weren't the main structure builders. That honor belongs to bryozoa, stromatoporoids, and stromatolites. What's really cool and unique about this reef is a great example of faunal succession. If you're familiar with geology, then you'll likely know what the law of superposition is. Younger rocks go on top and older rocks go on bottom. This concept is clearly evident when looking at quarry walls. 
And faunal succession is kind of the same thing, except instead of looking at rock layers, you're looking at fossils of organisms long dead. In the Chazy Reef, different framework builders were better adapted to different depths. As the deepest species grew vertically, the reef got shallower and shallower, until a new organism better adapted to the shallow water took the deep one's place and continued from there. The reason why we even know this is because of faunal succession. We can see the organisms stacked on top of each other, signifying which ones were older and which ones were younger. This is a very helpful concept when relative dating, because relative dating is just a comparison. We want to know which fossils or rock is the older one and which is the younger one. No numbers, just observation. The Chazy Reef is truly a unique place to visit. It has really cool geology seen here at the Fisk Quarry, and it has such an interesting and unique fossil record. A lot of research happens here for both geologists and paleontologists, and I hope that one day you could visit too, because it is really awesome. And if you like rocks and if you like fossils, well, this is the place for you. Uh, I am going to get away from the cliff as it is quite high and I do not like the idea of falling.